Uh, hello once again. I thought I'd take time out from this project to demonstrate something I've come across which might be interesting to you guys. Um, it involves getting a couple of links lined up for this um, linkage arrangement on this loco I'm busy trying to build. So I'll move over now to the screen capture to show it in a bit more detail. Now what we have here is a link here called the Union Link over there, Union Link and the Combination Lever over there, the Combination Lever. Now the combina Combination Lever is pivoted at that point and the Union Link is pivoted at that point. And the task is to swivel this round on that point and swivel that one round on that point so that these two pinholes are lined up perfectly so that that union lever part fits into that fork and is aligned with that hole perfectly. Now to achieve this action we need to construct some geometry and we need a sketch plane that passes through all the pivot points we interested in, namely that one, this one here, that one and that one. And this plane here I think will do that so we'll ha oh we don't need that so we'll just go to the select, select that and K for sketch plane will orientate it directly towards us. Now we're going to make a couple of arcs that will intersect at some point along here, around here. So up here with this tool, uh, sweep arc. Do a sweep arc from that pivot point around to here, somewhere. And a sweep, sweep arc from that pivot point so that it intersects. and then orientation lines from the pivot point now we've got to be careful, we'll zoom into this point because sometimes it can't be to it, that, that looks like it's exact there click, right and then yeah. skip now we've got our two orientation lines now that we have got our construction lines we can go into design mode and we're going to move the combination lever to this point here. So combination lever, move tool, then move the hope to the pivot point. Select the inline arrow, which is in line with that and we're going clockwise so that's okay provided you, when you go clockwise the angle you're moving is less than 90 you're in business so we'll select that the align tool and the construction line we've made and that is moved as we require now we go to the union link over here, that's been union link, move that to the pivot. Now the thing here is that this angle that we want to move is greater than 90 degrees and the arrow is showing that we're going clockwise. So what will happen if I choose that then do an alignment it will run the wrong way, that line up along here along that direction. Watch. There you go. Which is not what we want. So we'll escape that and go back. So what we do with that is we manually make sure the union link is chosen. We will manually 
move it to less than 90 degrees. So now if we choose this red arrow, align, there we are. escape, and now we have linked up together. Hope you enjoyed that, hope it's useful. See you again later, bye.